Pretty strong rebound in the U.S. equities this morning in early trade. As I speak to you right now, we've got the Russell up two and a quarter percent, just short of two and a quarter percent. The Dow, I'm sorry, the S&P and the Nasdaq, both just short of one and a half percent higher right now. And the Dow just a little bit better than one percent higher. So a pretty good rebound as we had market PMI in the U.S. a little bit weaker than expected. But the ISM figures were a little bit stronger than expected both still at pretty high expansionary levels, while last night we had China's figures come in below 50, which is a contractionary level. Now, Germany, the EU, and the UK also had market PMI figures. Germany was weaker than expected and weaker than the previous, while the UK and the EU were weaker than expected, but stronger than the previous. So we'll call that mixed. ADP private payrolls here in the U.S., a little bit stronger than expected, but not dramatically. And the yield curve is mostly flatter, but shortened yields are much higher again. And the dollar is weaker against most of the majors. You'll get the two-year note settling at 52 basis points in yield yesterday, 59 basis points this morning. The 10-year note has actually only gone from about 143 to about 148. So not as much of a move as we see in the shorter end of the curve, which is why the yield is mostly flatter. Now, we do have Fed Chair Jerome Powell and Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen testifying again today, this time before the House. Powell's speech is going to be critical because he's the one who drove the markets on a second leg lower yesterday, including crude oil. Important to mention there's a two-day OPEC meeting that started today, and crude oil is up about 3% as we go into that meeting. Tomorrow, we should get some commentary on production from OPEC. Now, looking ahead, we have New York Fed President John Williams speaking today, Fed Vice Chair Richard Claret is speaking. Tomorrow morning, some interesting earnings, Dollar General Duluth Holding Express Kroger and Land's End, so some retail earnings. Tomorrow after, I'm sorry, this afternoon, we get Beige Book, and then overnight, we get Eurozone employment figure. Tomorrow morning, U.S. jobless claims, and then more Fed speak. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic, Fed Governor Randall Quarles, who's in his last month as he resigned at the end of November, San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly, and Richmond Fed President Thomas Barkin, all speaking tomorrow. <laughs>